is fitness success. A while back I had a mentor that shared with me that he felt like the definition of success is a progressive realization of a worthy ideal. So what that means to me when I'm training people or when you're going through your fitness journey, if you're looking what is fitness success, what that means to me is that as long as you're making progress on your journey, does that make sense? So as long as you're daily making progress on your journey, that would be a good example of fitness success. So how do you do that? Just sticking to the fundamentals, sticking to the basics, proper training, nutrition, recovery, supplementation, and mindset. If you follow those key principles every day, that'll lead you on your journey to your fitness success. That is fitness success. I'll be back. Day three of week 42 of 52. So today is number week day number three, and today is Wednesday, midweek. I'm going to be doing my best to post more daily, but I'm rolling up a, two or three days into one blog. I'm about 170 pounds, 6 to 7% body fat. My goal is to be 185 pounds, but I'm happy and grateful to be 185 pounds, same, similar body fat, feeling strong and healthy, like a supple leopard, just got through training, some chest, shoulder, tri, quad workout. So the basic front standing relax pose. This is my worst side. If I was just trying to show off, I definitely would not show this side. But I want to make it better, so I'm posing it and squeezing it. Whew. Arnold, my Arnold Schwarzenegger, you probably heard of him. He recommends to pose because he says that a person that does not pose is like an uncut diamond. So the more we pose, the more we become like that diamond. More of the shapes, the cuts. This is one of my more favorite poses. I feel like it just looks better. This one's pretty good too. Side pose, you get to see the leanness in there. I'm not really, I'm happy with the leanness, but I'm really trying to put on more muscle all over. But. Be back for a closeout video. Grateful now for my plant based and vegan meal of spicy lentil wrap with papaya, tomato soup, and a power shake with strawberries, blueberries, and organic protein powder. Consider going plant based and vegan for your health, for the environment, and for the animals.
Being grateful now for my plant-based and vegan meal of jasmine rice, plant-based beefless beef and mushrooms and garlic, cabbage and a power shake with blueberries and bananas and organ protein. Consider going plant-based and vegan for your health, for the environment and for the animals. Being grateful now for my plant-based and vegan meal of jasmine rice with mandarin oranges, fresh boiled peanuts, protein shake with blueberries, almond milk and organ protein powder and some carrot juice. Consider going plant-based and vegan for your health, for the environment and for the animals. What is fitness success part two? If you remember on the last video, we said fitness, what I believe fitness success is the progressive realization of your fitness goals. So, and it's also, I've heard that from my mentor, it really applies to any love, any area of success, family, finances, spiritual. If you have a goal and you're progressively realizing that goal, then according to this definition, you are successful. So. How is your fitness going? Are you steadily progressing towards your goal? All right. So how do you measure that? How do you measure that? Well, activity, fitness activity, is going to lead to your goal. So five things I want you to consider getting familiar with is what I call the five fundamentals of fitness. And it's basically just five fundamentals. You know, in life, you know, my mentor said that they're basically, in any major area of life that we're trying to get better at, there are really only a half a dozen things that really matter you know, to put the time into it. And with fitness, it's, it's really very similar. So when it comes to fitness, my, I believe and I feel like there are five key fundamentals to fitness. And that's what I teach. It's what I practice myself. And I'm going to lay them out for you real quick. So if you have a pen and a paper, uh, write them down because you might not remember. And it's very, it's simple, but it's not easy. It's one of those things, you ever heard that? It's simple, but it's not easy, right? So with this, it's training, nutrition, recovery, supplementation, and then mindset. Those are the five things that if you focus on those fundamentals, you get really good at your activity your daily, weekly, monthly, yearly activities, you're getting them done, you're getting your exercise in, you're eating healthy, you're recovering, you're getting the proper amount of sleep and rest in between exercise sessions, you're supplementing intelligently, and you're working on that mindset. All of those are very, the key things I feel like that are going to drive your fitness progress, right? So how do we do that? Like, what am I doing right now? This week, my goal is to do strength training four times a week, yoga three times a week, tai chi three times a week, and swimming three times a week. That's a lot. I'm, I, I have an, what I would consider an advanced program. Everybody's different, but I'm getting them done, and it's progressing, it's progressively, I'm progressively realizing my goal. My goal is to gain muscle and be healthy, feel good. You know, when I, when I drive up to the studio, and that's another thing, with your goal, are you clear and specific on your goal? I was just uh, training someone earlier today, and he's studying to work in the construction field, and they're covering a blueprint class. And the blueprint, they just teach them how to read blueprints, and we're talking about this today. And it's just, if, if you're going to build a house, or a building, or a commercial building, or whatever, would you ever do it without a blueprint? Would Would you? No, you would not do it without a blueprint. So what I encourage you to do is to create a blueprint for your fitness success. An ideal blueprint. What I mean is think about it, lay it down, write it out. Every, everything in regards to the physique that you want. Get really clear and specific. For example, with my goals. I, I say my goals every day in the present tense. And I say it like this and you can... Use the same formula for your success. Here it goes. And you can write this down if you're serious about it. I am happy and grateful now that I am. That's the key phrase right there. If you remember that, you'd be doing yourself a big favor. I am happy and grateful now that I am. Then you say your goal. So for me, I'm about 170 pounds. 6 or 7% body fat. My goal was to be 185 pounds, 6 or 7% body fat, feeling strong and healthy like a supple leopard. That's my basic goals. I have more. I have the blueprint right now. 
And I go over, I know exactly what that's going to look like. I'm very clear. I can just see it right in front of me exactly how I'm going to look and feel, God willing, and it's going to come together. Right. So that's the thing. But I've drawn out that blueprint in my mind. But it's not only just enough to do it one time. We really have to lock it in in your subconsciousness, right? So when you write out your goals, your blueprint, you're considering doing your blueprint on your own, write out your goals. I am happy and grateful now that I am, and then boom, say your goal, I'm, a, I'm this much weight. I wear this size of clothes. I feel my waist size is this, Whatever, however you relate to it. If you want help with your goal setting process, that is what I do. I, it's what I've been doing with thousands of people over the years, and I can I can assist you, and that's why I'm doing this video to either help you uh, right from here, or to let you know that you can reach out to me. Not all fitness influencers coach people. I coach about 25, 30 people a week, whether they're in person or on the phone, and it can really only have so so many people. But that's what I'm looking for. Is I'm looking for the for if that's you. Somebody that's hungry, they want to make a change, they want to make progress, and they want to be willing to be coachable. Are you coachable? That's the thing. If you are coachable and you're open to a complimentary consultation so we can get to know each other, please reach out to me. Uh, contact me. My number's on the, on, somewhere on, on this uh, content here on the description of the video. Or you, the worst case scenario, you can go to fit.fitness. You can find me there. And let's get together. That's part of, part of your fitness success is being clear and specific on your goal. Being clear and specific. Knowing exactly what it is you want to achieve. And then you back it up every day and every week and every year following the activities of proper training, nutrition, recovery, supplementation, and mindset. Does that make any sense? If it doesn't make sense, please leave a one in the comments. Like, like and share and do all that stuff. Please help get the word out. There are so many people that's suffering from this. Maybe not you, but if you like and comment and share, maybe this will help reach someone else that is suffering. And believe me, there are a lot of people suffering. Last year, globally, 38.75% of the globe has been obese. Double that is overweight. Right. So if you're anywhere in that category and you're ready to make a change, please consider reaching out to me so we can connect. And if not, just take action on your own. Either way is okay. We just want to make sure we get it done, right? All right, that's it for now, and I'll be back. Wrapping up the night, had my last meal, and doing a quick analysis of Bitcoin to see where we're at. So I do enjoy following this. This is my one of my hobby and my passions, <clears throat> is trading, investing, digital assets. You know, as we have our income, we have to take our, our income and do something with it. And the people that I follow, they put them into assets. And Bitcoin is an asset. It's one of several, many, many, many different assets. But this is one that I feel particularly attracted to. But if you're interested in finding out how you can benefit from something like this, uh, just reach it, please consider reaching out to me about the Academy. We have over 100 different instructors that teaches all about this and there's just so much to learn it just really just takes a day at a time but the the rewards i feel like is is worth it it's already been worth it and i feel like it can be a lot more worth it now i'll be back and but before i do that if uh if you're interested in finding out more about this academy so you can figure out how you can benefit then reach out to me about the academy and let's collaborate We're looking for other like-minded people like yourself